Enter the website address of the AI model generation in the browser, triplo3d.ai. Press enter to access the website. This website we use here is for demonstration reference only. You may also choose other AI model generation platforms. Currently, the 3D model generation function in the SGD laser software is under development. Login from the top right corner of the page. Enter the description text and upload the image file based on the 3D model you want to generate, and the AI will automatically generate a 3D model. The image file can be sourced from the internet or generated by AI. Import your prepared image file, and then enter the model description text to generate. After finished, check whether the generated 3D model achieves the desired effect. Copy the exported file to the desktop. And extract the folder. Remove the 150mm field lens. Put the protective cover back on the 150mm field lens. Take out the 70mm field lens. Remove the bottom protective cover. Remove the top cover and place it on the 150mm field lens. Install the 70mm field lens. Open SG Laser. Click New. Open Settings at the top left corner. Device Information. Enable Z-axis and use 70mm field lens. Import the 3D model file. Click the view above to adjust it to the front. Modify the size of the model. Here you can adjust the orientation of the model. Enter 50 for the x-axis. Enter 50 for the y-axis. Enter 80 for the z-axis. Click on the view above to check if the 3D model exceeds the crystal range. If it does, adjust the model size or position accordingly. Then return to the front view. If your crystal kit is from the official SculptFun website, you can use the same parameters I used. If not, you will need to adjust these six parameters and test to find the optimal settings. 1. Engraving speed. This refers to the movement speed of the laser head during engraving. The higher speed increases engraving efficiency but may result in rougher details. A lower speed is better for fine details but reduces efficiency. You need to balance speed and engraving quality. 2. Frequency. This is the number of laser pulses emitted per unit of time. High frequency produces dense pulses, resulting in smooth and delicate engraving lines. Low frequency delivers more energy per pulse, suitable for deeper marks. Adjust according to the crystal material and engraving requirements. 3. Q pulse width. This is the duration of a single laser pulse. Pulse width affects the laser's peak power and energy output. Narrow pulse width produces high peak power, ideal for fine engraving of tiny structures. Wide pulse width energy release is gentle, helping prevent cracks in the crystal. 4. Light on delay. 
After the galvanometer is in place, delay the laser emission time to resolve energy accumulation or discontinuous engraving at the starting point caused by galvanometer acceleration. This ensures the beginning of the engraving is more even. 5. Light off delay. Delay the laser off time after the galvanometer moves to a new position. It compensates for galvanometer inertia, preventing missing corners from early laser shutoff or excessive burning from late shutoff. 6. Dotting time. This is the duration the laser acts on a single point on the crystal. Longer time accumulates more energy at each point, making it brighter but potentially larger. Shorter time results in dimmer, smaller points, useful for adjusting brightness and depth in inner engraving patterns. Place a 6mm thick wooden board. Switch on the 70mm field lens focus button. Press the side down button to lower the laser module. Until the two red light points overlap to complete focusing. Place the crystal engraving material. You can place a sheet of white paper or a soft cloth on the crystal to keep the preview frame centered on the crystal. Click Preview. The blank crystal kit can be purchased at sculptfun.com.